Well, paralyzed people standing up and walking. It might sound like science fiction, but it is science fact in several parts of the world. Stem cells are being injected in people with spinal cord injuries, and the results are nothing short of remarkable. Most patients see major improvements in their quality of life, including the return of their bladder function. Tonight we meet a Victoria man who might never fully recover, but you may be surprised to see how much he can do now. Kevin Gates gets down on all fours, crawling, an infantile act for most adults, but an astounding accomplishment for a man who's been paralyzed from the chest down for 17 years. Yes, yes, go, Daddy, come on. Kevin, an Australian who moved to Canada two years ago, was a passenger in a car crash. His back break is called a T5. T5 is... Just about nipple level. Kevin is a retired world-class wheelchair sprinter. He watched a news report in his home country that featured the first woman in the Western world who traveled to India for stem cell injections. Kevin started packing. In 2008, he was treated by Dr. Gita Shroff in New Delhi. Two injections a day over a nine-week period. While I was there, amazing changes. In two weeks, I, I was uh, seeing slight movement in my toes. And, the, so. and in the 15 years previous, nothing like that. Zero. The India Clinic uses embryonic stem cells. They have been derived from a single spare throwaway uh, pre-implantation stage embryo. And this I had taken in the year 2000, and from then on we made cell lines. The stem cells slowly replace Kevin's cells that were wiped out when his back was broken. One year after the procedure and a decade and a half of full confinement in a wheelchair, Kevin began walking. It's hard. It's... Uh, small but it's possible i can put it all together now kevin's strides are slow and careful but he gets up every day and his quality of life continues to improve uh, it's good for your circulation bone density um, swelling for reducing edema kevin paid seventy thousand dollars for three separate trips to india for stem cell injections not only are the stem cells changing Kevin's life, they're helping Kevin's daughter, three-year-old Avery, as well. When my child was very little, to be able to pick them up out of the bed or on the floor would have never been possible. With the return of function, yeah, it was made it a whole lot easier. Kevin is becoming an advocate for the treatment on his blog, the new speedylife.blogspot.com, where some of the questions get personal. Has the sexual function returned and, or changed, or even a little bit? And they said yes, and he goes, I'm going for the treatment. <laughs> Kevin says the greatest gift the stem cells have given him is something even more basic. I am now having return of bladder function. The India Clinic has treated more than 800 people. I would say that we have had a very good success rate greater than 90 percent. Those successes range from full recovery to the return of greater sensation. Kevin's going to be heading back to India sometime this fall for one more treatment, but what he'd really like to see is this kind of medical advancements happening in Canada. Dr. Shroff wants to share the stem cells, but her procedure is illegal in our country. We have uh, been able to store it in a ready-to-inject form, and this ready-to-inject form is viable up to six months if we store it carefully. Tomorrow on A News, the ethics and politics of stem cells. In Victoria, Mary Beth Burton, A News.